Hey, back again real quick. Um, I downloaded a video earlier uh, today, and I got an email from a friend of mine who's been looking at to buy the katana. And he had a couple questions, and I thought I'd do a very short video where I just address it, the uh, questions that he asked me. Um, what you're seeing on your screen here is the actual thing that you see when you first go to the Boss Tone Central. And depending on which one of the uh, katanas you are buying, um, you download the software here, all right? Because each one of the katanas has something slightly different about them. Not, not drastic, but just slightly different. Um, so you would do that. Now, in order to get into the Tone Central, you actually have to have a katana um, because that's how the uh, that's how the software recognizes that uh, um, you're you have the amp. So you have to have the amp plugged in on the USB and turned on. So I'm going to shut this down. I just switched on my amplifier, and now I'm going to go back and switch on the boss. Now you see what happens. It immediately goes into the um, the Tone Central um, Boss Tone Studio. Okay. So uh, the the next question was, um, I kept showing how you could go between uh, choosing different uh, effects pedals in the uh, in the Tone Central and the Tone Studio. I keep saying Central Tone Studio and you can choose all these, but his question was, well, how do you edit these? I mean, you know, how do you edit the digital delay? Well, what you do is, once you've chosen that particular digital delay, you go up here and you hit delay. And there you go. There's your controls for it. It tells you everything you need to know. All right? Um, and that goes for anything any one of the effects. I've never seen this many controls for any one thing. Look at the controls for the chorus unit. You get separate low and high uh, frequency controls. So you could set your low rates and your high rates separately on the same chorus and get some really unusual sounds. Um, and I would say that's pretty much true on a lot of this stuff here. Um, let's look at a, a plate reverb. Just go click, pick the reverb you want, plate, go here, reverb, boom. Here's your controls. And to have EQ controls on a reverb to me is great. Because you can get that nice high end and uh, cut out some of the boom on the bottom. Um, the last question was, uh, actually came from another website. Somebody said, all this is good, but there's no noise gate listed in any of these effects. Um, that's not true. At the end of this chain here, you'll see NS. So they say noise suppressor, okay? And here it is. You set the threshold level and how quick you want it to release. Threshold level, you set when do you want the noise suppressor to kick in and the release, how fast do you want it to release. Okay, so that's your sensitivity. And I think that's about it. Um, just wanted to make a quick one to answer a couple quick questions. And uh, hope you... Uh, have a good day, and uh, if you're interested in buying a katana or you have any questions about them, just uh, drop me uh, a comment, and I'll get back to you. Thanks.